Hi, so today I'm going to run you through a quick tutorial on how to set up pattern repeats within Adobe Illustrator. Um, and when I say quick, I do mean quick because they make it so super simple and easy to set up one. Um, so I'm just going to dive straight in and get to it. All right, so when you first open Adobe Illustrator, you are presented with your um, uh, artboard here. So that's this white canvas that we see in front of us. So I'm just going to turn this into a square just for ease um, and just for the sake of this tutorial. So I go to my document setup. I'm going to make this, uh, say, 1,000 by 1,000. Cool. And what we've got up here is my motifs that I'm going to use to create my uh, pattern repeat. So I'm going to bring these down onto my artboard and then select all of them and go up to object, pattern, and then click on this make button. And so now you're presented with uh, this screen here and we've got um, some options here in our dialog box. Uh, so if you have a click through, so you've got tile type, grid, so that is what we're seeing now. You can also click on brick by row, and as you can see, the flowers have kind of moved into a staggered brick uh, setup. Brick by column, that's the same, but now staggering um, vertically. Hex by column, so as you can see, we've got this hexagon shape here, which provides a really cool way to create some different pattern repeats. And you've also got hex by row. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use the simple grid, and you can play around with the others while you're um, getting yeah, creative with your own uh, pattern repeats. So I'm just going to change this width here to be the 1,000 by 1,000. So it's the same as my artboard, so then that way it's just super simple and easy for myself visually and to um, align this square that we are seeing with my artboard you just select all of your original objects and then it allows you to move and then that way I can just align it there and it just creates that really nice visual for me. Uh, you've got some other options here like overlap so um, left in front so all that basically is saying is that if you put anything onto the left hand side that this goes in front um, and then the things on the right hand side um, end up uh, behind so it's just a case of um, uh, you know, sending things to the front or sending things to the back. So you've got options here for um, top in front or bottom in front as well. So I always just usually, it just depends on what you're designing and doing. Um, I'm just going to go for left in front and top in front for this one. And copies three by three. So what this means is that we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, all around our screen here. Uh, and this just allows us to see the design um, that completely surrounds our pattern and how it'll look on that larger scale. So um, let's get started with our pattern repeat. So it is as easy as this. Anything that you move up to the top, it automatically, as you can see, brings it down to the bottom and create, puts it in the exact same position. So it's mirrored top and bottom. So if we just move some things accordingly, I'm going to select a couple things, Command C, Command F, it just pastes it in the same place. I don't really need to paste it in the same place, but that's just my favorite to do. That way I don't have to worry about, you know, if I've pasted something and it jumps all the way over here, it's just exactly where I last left my cursor. It just keeps it super easy for me. Um, so I put that there, and then I might want to move this one up here. Move this one up. Cool. Okay, so that'll do. So that's my repeat that I've created. Now, um, to get out of this, so we just kind of click anywhere else on the screen, but it kind of looks like your pattern has disappeared, but it hasn't. What's happened is it's now saved itself into your swatches over the side here. So as you can see, I've got quite a few little swatches that I've saved. Uh, and so yours will be the, the latest one will be the one that's at the end. So let's move this out of our artboard. I'm going to click on my swatch, and then I'm going to go over to the square rectangle tool here. And I'm going to just, actually, if you just, you can drag and you can see your repeat coming into play, which is really cool and awesome to see. And as you can see, it's completely seamless. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and then I'm going to make it a thousand by thousand millimeters. So that way it's the exact repeat. And then I'm just going to align, use my align tools up there to um, horizontally and vertically align it to my board. And then that way, this file that I have right now here on my artboard is basically, it's a perfect tiled pattern repeat. And I can export that as a PDF. I can send that to my printer. I can do whatever I want to do with that pattern now. Um, and then we can also as well, if you want to just double check that what you're doing is 
um, uh, is perfectly um, pattern repeated. I'll just actually just delete those now because we don't need them. You can then just copy and then paste Command F into the same place again and then just line that up. And look at that, that is so perfectly repeated. Uh, so that's just another check, but um, if you've used the pattern tool, it's just repeated itself really well. So. Uh, and that is basically it. So if you wanted to see your repeat on a larger scale, um, you can just create a box and then you can um, select your pattern or you can have your pattern selected and then create boxes. You can do as many as you want everywhere you want. Um, and then uh, because ours is transparent, we can also add a background color. Let's go with something really, really bright. Oh, that's, yeah. Send that to the back. Whew. That is crazy. A bit harsh on the eyes. Anyway, that is the end of the tutorial. I hope that that was helpful. Uh, if you have any requests, any questions, anything at all that you want to say, if you have a request for a specific tutorial or um, <laughs> tutorial um, or something that you want to see um, uh, or need to know about Illustrator or Photoshop or any of them, um, you can just pop me a comment and um, yeah.